Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing how to create a widget. A widget is essentially sim it's is very similar to the HUD. The only difference is that a widget can be applied in a 3D space, while the HUD is just on your screen. So this gives you the ability to create, let's say, TV screens that are moving, or uh, extra buttons that you can actually go to a location, and um, and modify. Um, in this case, we're going to create a little leaderboard right here. Um, but really, all, all we're going to be doing is displaying the same XP function that we have from before right here. And so it's going to look like there's a screen there that has our XP. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is create a widget uh, within this. So if you go down to or if you just scroll down and go to user interface and widget blueprint this will pop up so type in like board widget you can call it whatever you want now in here this is called the UMG editor um, this is where the widgets are created in the middle of the screen is our essentially our canvas everything inside of this area will be drawn outside it will not um, on the left hand side we have our palette which includes some common items like uh, buttons, uh, text boxes, which will, or <coughs> text, which is what we'll be using, um, and some other stuff. And like primitives for like a nice cool circular, ooh, fancy, or anything like that. Um, so you can customize it and make it look however you want. Down here you have some animation stuff uh, in case you want something to like speed up or go slower so they call this the curve editor <clears throat> in our details panel and there's also a graph component which I'll show you in a moment so the first thing that we're going to do is go to our border and just drag it out here this is just so that uh, when we're drawing our XP we don't have a clear background but it actually looks like kinda like a screen um, and then I'll change the color to like there just to make it off-white um, alright now the cool thing uh, with this is that everything's in a hierarchy system as you can see over here so our canvas panel is the entire thing our border is the one that we just created and if we drag things into our canvas panel uh, we can drag it around wherever we want which is really nice so if you if you if you uh, click on text and you drag it into canvas panel, you can see a new text thing has appeared, and instead of right there, we can move it around. Now this little thing is um, uh, is called an anchor. So everything within <coughs> the widgets um, editor is scalable by the anchor. So the the anchor simply means that it's it's attached. Um, in this area of the screen so this um, so th this text box if the screen is going smaller which you can adjust the screen size over here if it goes this way uh, the te the this text box won't be affected however if you put the anchor on the other side and you move the screen size to let's say here the anchor or the anchor will essentially be attached to the screen size hence that will also move with it so it, it essentially just makes it scalable, which is nice. Um, so we're going to create our little XP thing, similar to how we have the HUD currently. So in the text area, we'll just type in XP or XP like that. And let's change the color to black because it shows better. And then um, or actually, let's also increase the font a little. Uh, instead of 24, let's make it 50, because that's a nice big number. Then f for this other text, let's drag it into the canvas panel. And then this one is where we're actually going to have our number value. So for now, let's just type in like 10, just so that we can see what it's going to look like. Make it 50, change it to black. And when it looks aligned, that's good. 
we'll just do that. So the numbers will be drawn right here, actually. All right, now let's make it a variable. So this is where we need to go to our graph. Um, now the difference between this type of blueprint and the other types is that there is this event construct which creates uh, the stuff that the widget has uh, when when the widget is created and then the tick function is just like any other tick function it's just a looping thing uh, so we're going to uh, what we're going to do is just use the tick oops my bad we're going to just use tick uh, and we're going to attach the our first person character uh, the XP variable there to the variable over here so just type in where we're going to create a variable that's a float and let's just call it XP and attach it to our player characters float so get player character we're going to cast to the first person character to get the variables contained within we get the XP and then we set that XP to this XP then if we jump back to designer um, inside this little text field if we click on bind we can create a binding which will display whatever we have noted there so we're just going to take that get the current XP value that we have which is now attached to our player characters and just drag it to this little text thing it'll do a little conversion and that's it then over here you can just delete that part so that it doesn't show anymore and there you go that's step one so uh, we're actually done with this widget component now to get it to show up we can't just drag and drop we need to attach it to an actor so if we go to blueprint class go to actor and type in uh, leaderboard in here you can add a, comp a widget component which the widget component if you go under widget class will be our board widget and so that is essentially what we want <laughs> can um, for the draw size of the widget you can increase this part a little bit oh <laughs> my bad the X value let's increase it to like 800 just to make this a little bit uh, bigger so that it shows up better okay hit that button everything should be compiled just fine now the interesting thing about widgets is that it will only appear on one side so if you want to which is the probably the more preferred method inside of the leaderboard here if you create a um, um, if you go back to the viewport instead of just dragging in the widget here because really see you see that how um, the back is not visible only the front is visible because this is just a plane so if you want it to be like a solid object you may want to add another component like a, a, a cube and just make it thin but for now let's just use the widget as is so uh, drag leaderboard out here find out where it is which is just right here on this side notice how the other side is not clear and then um, just make this a bit smaller rotate it and stick it on the wall It's actually a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, let's just get more fine and try to adjust this part here. Make it a little bit smaller. Like that. Okay, I think that's good enough. 
So now if we hop in game, you'll see the XP is zero currently. And as we take out our enemies, if we look at the wall, is now 40 um, because it's tied into how we want our XP over here is. So we can essentially do that for, um, or we can, using the widget um, blueprint, you can create other logic. So if you actually wanted to, to make this a leaderboard, um, you can set, let's say up here, the, um, the player's name and then <clears throat> how much XP they have in their current level. And then if you have other characters in your thing, um, you can essentially tie them all into variables in the widget component and then do this modifying thing saying that the maximum widget component goes on, or the, the maximum variable goes on top, the minimum goes on the bottom. So it's very similar to an actual leaderboard system. The person with the highest XP goes on top and so on and so forth. And of course you can use this for all this other stuff. I'll show you one other thing with the widget, uh, which is those really cool decorative primitives. Um, so if we drag in ooh, this circular throbber into our canvas panel, you can see over here if we have this right there. Our throbber is right there. Um, so you can make that a little bit bigger, change the color. <laughs> Where's the color? Okay, I guess you can't change the color. Or you can, but uh, let's just change the border color, make it a little bit darker so that it shows up. There we go. So you can, you know, add uh, different things, add more points so that it looks nice. Let's toss that around our XP. Just for that visual effect. And so you hop in here and you'll look at the XP wall and you'll see a little, a little rotating thing. Anyways, you can do a lot of stuff with the widget component. I just wanted to show you guys that because I think it's really cool. And, well, that concludes the uh, XP and leveling series. Uh, if you have any suggestions on other series to do, uh, just go ahead and leave a comment below. Uh, or if you have any questions, I'm pretty good at answering. Um, but thank you for watching this series, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.